Everyone, did you know that you can self-host Superbase? In this video, we'll talk all about it. We'll see how we can self-host locally on our own computer first, and then we'll take a look at how we can self-host on a VPS. I will also add a Next.js application so we can see how we can get the data from the database into our app and also how we can add new data from the app as well. What you're looking at here is a Next.js app and it's actually getting data here from a Superbase instance that I am self-hosting. So uh, here I can look in the dashboard. You will still have a dashboard when you self-host, but this may be something that you prefer. There are some benefits to self-hosting. You have full control. So let's quickly get started here on self-hosting Superbase locally first. We will use Docker here and they actually have a great guide for this on their website. So I basically just created an empty folder on my computer here and I opened this up here in Visual Studio Code. And then what we need to do is clone a repo. So we just have to follow these commands. Let me quickly do that here. So we have to clone this repo that will create a new folder called Superbase here. All right, so once it's done, we need to create a new directory called Superbase project. And now I have two folders here. Okay, so next we need to copy, copy this as well, right? So I'm just copy pasting the commands that they suggest here. So then we need to go into this Superbase project here. So I will CD into that. And from there, we're going to use Docker, right? So I'm gonna use Docker here, including Docker Desktop. If you haven't installed it yet, you can find it on the Docker website, right? So here I'm gonna run Docker Compose pool and it's gonna look at this Docker Compose YAML file that I have here. It's quite complex because Superbase actually consists of multiple different services, but we, we only need to run one command to get it all up and running. So first it will pull the images for all of those services and I have Docker desktop running here, so we should see the images in a second here. All right, so after some time you will see this, and then we can actually start all of them with one command here as well, docker compose up. All right, so now it looks like I have everything, but how can I see it? Well, Superbase Studio is available, well, localhost, or if you're running it on a VPS, we'll take a look at this in a second. It would be that IP address, but locally it's gonna be localhost port 8000. And when you open that, it will ask you for credentials. This is not a sign up, where you create a new account, this is sign in. So it assumes that there already is a set of credentials and that is the case, those have been generated for you. So Superbase here has a username of Superbase and then literally the password, this password is insecure, blah, blah, blah. So they, they recommend that you actually change it, but let's see. All right, so now I'm signed in and you can see this is running on localhost. This is not in the cloud. Uh, this is a dashboard here on my own computer. Now it will show an actual project um, locally. So there, there may be some minor changes, but overall of course should look uh, the same. I can go to table editor. I don't have any tables here. I have a SQL editor. Our database is empty right now. All right, so everything is in here. All right, so I just quickly generated a query here with ChatGPT just so we can quickly get started here. All right, so success. If I now go to table, we see a posts table here. It is unrestricted, but this is just for show. So there is now an empty table here. Let's quickly add some data. So it's gonna be one row. So this is gonna be for posts, right? So we can say something like first post for the title and then for the content, amazing post. Right, so this is just one post I'm gonna add here. So now we have one post in the database, cool. So now let's say we have an application. How do we actually interact with this self-hosted Superbase instance? Well, I can simply create a new folder, the Next.js app folder. And here I have a brand new Next.js app. So if I CD into that and I run the app, here is the app and you can see I'm displaying that one post for from that self-hosted Superbase instance, first post, amazing post. How is that possible? How how am I connecting to that here? Well, here on the homepage, I'm just following the typical instructions that Superbase gives you, right? So you can create a client here in Next.js, it looks like this, and you get like a Superbase instance, which I can use to grab the actual post. I get the actual posts here as data. I'm just mapping over that here in a list. Now, how do I know to uh, connect it like that? Well, here, if you click on connect here under app frameworks, it will show you exactly what you need to do. So here for Next.js app router, I'm using the Superbase JS option here. That's what it shows here for page. And I've created these other files as well. Now, importantly, we also need to add these environment variables. I've created a .env.local file here, and I've added these here as well. Now, instead of using the Superbase client, I could also use an ORM like Prisma or Drizzle. Right, but if you do all of this and you go to the page, you will grab the actual data, right? So now I can also try adding a post. So I can say second post, 
second post here. I will try to submit data. So if I do a save post, you can see now I have this here, at least in the UI. If I now go to the table editor here, you can see I have two rows in my database. So this data is actually persisted. I'm just using a server action here, just using that client again, actually insert a new post and then revalidating the homepage so we can get a fresh UI. Right. This is in a nutshell how we can self-host Superbase on our own computer and connect from an app to do your RUT operations. Of course, there's ways to improve this. We could add more security features, but let's actually see how we can now do something similar on a VPS. So how can we self-host Superbase in the cloud and specifically with a VPS? So we will need a VPS and I'm going to use Hostinger for this video. Yes, they are sponsoring, but I think they have a really compelling offer because they already have a Superbase VPS template out of the box. They're already familiar with the type of setup that we're going for. We're not doing something weird. This is something that they actually cater to. And actually, in my view, it's even easier to do it with Coolify. So in this video, I will use Coolify and they actually have a template for that out of the box as well. Also for Docploy, by the way, in case you prefer Docploy. But the benefit of using Coolify or Docploy is that we don't have to do much Docker stuff ourselves and right? so coolify abstracts that away from you and just provides you with a great deployment experience so i will actually go with the coolify vps template now hosting or as of recording actually has an amazing black friday sale going on so make sure you use the link in the description and if we scroll down we can see the different VPS plans that they have. So you get a really good price for these powerful VPS plans. So you may want to go with the KVM2 plan, but if you do anticipate that you will need a more powerful setup, feel free to go with one of these other plans, right? So maybe you actually want to host multiple services, not just Superbase, but other things as well. You can do this very easily with Coolify, or you expect a lot of traffic, or you have some heavy workload. In that case, you may want to go with these plans. In this video, I will just go with KVM2. So let's go ahead. All right, so here on the checkout page, make sure to use my coupon code, which is all uppercase ByteGrad. If you apply that, you will get an even better price. All right, so check out the link in the description and make sure to use coupon code ByteGrad, all uppercase. All right, and then also we can pick a server location. So if this is going to be for your database, then you want to put this as close as possible to where you actually have your app running as well, your app, your app server. If you actually want to host both your app as well as Superbase, in that case, in the same location. And in that case, you want to be as close as possible to your actual users. All right, so then here we have the operating system. So this is the thing I like about Hostinger, which is that they have all of these templates. So they have a Superbase option here. You can see they have this out of the box. So you could go with that. I like using Coolify because if you do want to add other things like a Next.js app as well, it's actually really easy to do. So I will go with the Coolify template in this video. All right, so let's actually pay. All right, so after payment, we will go through a setup here, right? So actually we can pick a location here. I will leave it like this. And actually, I do want to go with Coolify here. I will select that. And here we can pick a password. Since we're using the Coolify template, we will actually not need it, but you may need it later. So just uh, don't forget about it. All right, so I will finish the setup here. In a few minutes, we should be good to go. All right, so now it's finished. Let's go here. And here we will see the settings for our VPS. So you can see it's a Ubuntu VPS and we have some other settings here. But, we, but right now we can just go to the Coolify panel. So we click on Manage Panel. There may not be HTTPS yet, but I will continue here. All right, so first time, make sure you're the first one because this is going to be the root user. So make sure you're the first one creating an account. All right, so here we have an onboarding process. All right, so here we can pick the server type. So we will keep it simple in this video. We're going to put everything on this one VPS, but we could also separate it out. So you could have the Coolify set up on one machine and then your actual apps or services on some other machines, but we will do everything here on this machine. All right, so here in Coolify, it's organized in projects. All right, so let's deploy our first resource. So in the project, we have resources. This can be Superbase. This can be an Next.js app. There's actually a lot of options. You can see we have all of these options here. So you get a lot of services here out of the box. Now we are here for Superbase. So we just have to pick this. All right, so then here you will see some settings, but we can just go ahead and click on deploy. So now Coolify under the hood is going to do something similar as what we just did on our own computers, which is that it will pull those images onto the VPS and then it will start running them. So you can see the logs here, but let's actually just try going there. All right, so let's actually try to go to the Superbase UI again. So if you click on links here, it will show you a link to go there. It is again asking us for a set of credentials. These have been generated for you as well. So here we have uh, a dashboard user. I can just copy paste this as well as the password. So I will sign in here. 
All right, here we go. So here I am in the Superbase dashboard again. You can see it's not on localhost. This is now on a bit of a strange uh, URL, but it is working. And you can see we have an empty uh, database again. So let me actually add a table here again. I will run this. If we look at the table now, I can see there is one table here. Let's quickly add a row. I will say first post in Superbase VPS. Hello world, I'm gonna save here. So now I have a post in the database. How can I now get the data from this Superbase instance into an app? Well, we can still see connect here. If we go to app framework, you can see the environment variables that you will need. So if I replace the old ones with the new ones, you can see it's that URL that we're using here. Now, if I go to my app and I refresh, you can see I have that post here coming from the Superbase instance running in a VPS here in Hostinger, right? So all of this is working. And if I actually try to add a post, second post, hello, if I save the post, okay, so in the UI, it's updated now. If I go to the Superbase instance here, it is also updated. So now we are self-hosting here on a VPS, right? And there are things that we can improve here. Let's actually try adding a custom domain. So Hostinger actually offers domains as well. I have one that we can try to use here. So I will actually make it a subdomain Superbase. The way I got it to work is to point this to the IP of the VPS. It's something I can just copy here. I'm not adding a port number or the scheme. All right, so I just added this. Now I need to let Superbase know as well. Now, the way I got it to work is to, is to go into Superbase Kong here, because that is what it's using to, to sort of uh, make all of that work. All right, now here it does mention that you should add the port 8000. That means that I would have to do something like this. So superbase.bytegradcourses.com. So if I save here, I do need to redeploy. So you see an, a warning there. So let me actually restart here. All right, so I just restarted. Now, if I try to go to superbase.bytegradecourses.com, I can see the sign in here again. So that is just this that we had before as well. All right, so now I'm in my Superbase dashboard again, and I, st I still have my table. All right, so now you can see I have this running on a subdomain. Now, since we changed the domain, now you should also update something, right? So now you will get an error because the environment variable is still using that old address, that new one. Right, so if I do this, and now if I refresh, I get the data here again. So make sure you update your environment variable as well. If I try a third one, everything here looks good. All right, so there you go. Self-hosting Superbase on a VPS, very easily managed here with Coolify and the VPS itself coming from Hostinger. Definitely check out the link. They have they have the Coolify template. They have a Superbase template as well, if you prefer that. In any case, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.